Let's refocus, shall we, on smartphones. Now, <laughs> nearly everyone has one, which means everyone's a photographer now, isn't it? Well, that, we like to think we're handling them quite well, don't we? <laughs> New Zealander Stu Robertson is taking that idea to a whole new level using a smartphone photography to explore life in the South Pacific. The 100 Portraits project matches interviews with stunning pictures and to show us a few of them, Stu Robertson joins us in studio now. We've managed to drag you back to Australia from your travels yes. and um, 100 Portraits. Just explain to us what this project is and how the smartphone has been in incorporated in that. Mm, well, the, the elevation of photography, you're right, everyone's <laughs> a photographer now. My mum turns up to a family function and she's the photographer and, and they say the best camera is the one you have on you. Generally, everyone has a smartphone on them, so there's this whole push to improve the quality of uh, cameras and smartphones and I have a large portrait project I'm doing called Peace in 10,000 Hands with Leica and I was approached um, by Huawei for this project because Leica and Huawei have joined together to put a, an amazing camera on a, on a pretty cool phone and um, so the project is about getting under the skin of humanity and uh, finding out stories of people that you might not otherwise touch in everyday life. So photographing 100, 100 random people that I come across and choose uh, in all different situations and then sharing their story. Before we take a look at some of the images there, can, we yeah. just, uh, can I ask you, were you a photographer before you got your yeah. smartphone? I mean, did you have a history of... Uh, well, yeah, some I, like SLRs and so on. Yeah. The bulky camera. Yeah, the bulky camera. Yeah. The, the SLR. So I'm, I'm actually not a trained or a professional photographer. Um, five years ago, I started a project that I needed to essentially become a photographer, the, the Peace in 10,000 Hands concept, which is photographing a single white rose in the hands of 10,000 people. So up until that point, I was not a photographer. And then five years ago, I started an art project where I had to sort of learn the art of photography, I guess you could say. So it's been through this short passage of time that this opportunity has come about. Yeah. So I'm not trained or anything like that. So yeah. what are we capable of? Let's have a look through some sure. of the images. And as you just tell us um, a little bit about them as we as we bring them up and, and who we've captured. Because you mentioned that in the frame are just random people who mm -hmm. you've selected somewhere across the South Pacific. Yep. So I have, to, I have to walk up to people and say, I'd like to take your portrait, random people in the street. So, so this is... Uh, this is an instance of where, I, where I'd finished the photo shoot with the camera and um, I asked him a question and he put his hand to his face. And often it's the, it's the one you take when you're finished. So you tell the five year old at the birthday party, right, I'm done, I'm not gonna take another picture. And they relax. And then you get the cracker shot. Yeah, yeah. and so um, I, I really like that one. And the camera shoots in black and white too. There's two cameras on it. One is dedicated to black and white. So when you get a shot like this, it's actually a black and white file, which is super cool. And it's an art form upon an art form because he obviously has the tattoos as yep. well. Yeah, that's how I felt. Um, that was a reflection of uh, a lot of people might not want to look at him. He was he was a very burly guy covered in tattoos and it was sort of a, a reflection of, of him looking at society and society looking mm. at him but not being able to want to peek. So that was a portrait that I really liked. And... Uh I also am interested in not just the art of taking the photo, but what do you do with the photo once it's been shot? Is yeah, there is, is there enough to manipulate? Like, do people yeah. manipulate them on their so phone? So this is a super good question for this photo. So this is a photo that I took in the dark of a young man in a in a in a dumpster alley. So he's leaning on a dumpster, and you can see that flare coming in from the left hand side of the picture. That is something I did after just by clicking a button. So it looks like there's this beautiful starburst or lighting coming across, but it's all completely manufactured within the P10 Plus. It's, you can do all of this after, so it's quite amazing what yeah, you can do. Yeah, the trade. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, um, let's, let's have a look at another image. Um, so explain this one. So this is down at Darling Harbour, and again, this is uh, when I said to her, I've now finished, you can relax, and she cocked her head, and I asked her a question, and she looked, and, and this is the shot that I got, just lit from a street light taken in black and white again. Because so, this yeah. is also about interviews as well, isn't it? Yes, the two it go in partnership with this mm. project. Yeah, yeah. So it's basically, it's about the people that see themselves on the fringe of life, you know, the strugglers, the fighters, the outcasts and the heroes. And um, some of the questions we ask them after we've taken their portrait is, what is the kindest thing someone has done to you? And what is the worst thing someone has done to you? Mm. And I have had... Um, the worst answers or the most unimaginable answers you can imagine uh, in response to what is the worst thing that someone's ever done to you. So it's been quite heart rendering. This is uh, a great shot. I liked um, her teeth because it looked like it was the reflections of Darling Harbour carrying straight on through her mouth. But she was with uh, a university crew and they're going for a big um, celebration party at a club down in Darling Harbour. 
shot in black and white. Well, how do you approach these people? What do you say to them? That's, well, I'm an introvert, so I, I haven't had a birthday <laughs> party since I was 10. I don't, if I'm on a long flight for 13 hours, I won't talk to the person next to me. And talking to people terrifies me. Uh, and so that's one of the things I've had to come over is the fear of, this is a woman I photographed in, in a cemetery. Um, and it's, it's going into the cemetery and saying, can I take your photograph? I'm doing this project. And then that starts a conversation. And I very quickly try and establish a rapport because a, a portrait is always a collaboration. Um, you're trying to get them to do what you want them to do. So you instantly need to get this rapport moment. So this is a, in a red light district at 2 a.m. And um, working with people that work at that time of the night and, and going out asking them for their time. So yeah. it's we're, we're both nervous and embarrassed and shy at this point. Of, well, of it's really confronting, isn't it's it? It's very confronting. And you've got immediately, you haven't got much time to break down that barrier. No, no. And some people don't give you much time, uh, but I'm also asking them questions for this 100 portrait project that gets into the skin of their humanity and how they feel and why they exist and what they do and how society reacts to them. So where will people be able to see these photos and hear the interviews that you mm. captured? So uh, the Leica store at QVB in Sydney, the, the grand opening is on Monday and they'll be able to go and see the photographs printed there. And then um, from Friday, p10studio.com. The stories will be up there, the video interviews will be up there and they'll be able to see how to edit the images and all that kind of stuff oh. on the phone. Yep. Tips as well. Tips as you well. don't mind a bit of competition. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. It's fantastic. Yeah. Well, yeah. for an introvert, Stu Robertson, you are doing a brilliant job this Thank morning and much. also in the work you've done. Beautiful images. Thank Can't you. wait to hear the stories. Wonderful to have you with Thanks, us. Thank Miriam. you so much. Thank you.